An eyewitness news reporter Howard Monroe is also in the neighborhood, and this unfortunately isn't a new problem for the water department. Howard. You can, it's all because of how old the city is and how aging its infrastructure is. However, the water department, they say that these breaks are going to happen, and all they can do is respond as quickly as possible. The whole neighborhood. This is what we get. Frustration bubbling over and concessing as neighbors watch thousands of gallons of water flow down their streets. The 48 inch main that broke at 56 in Springfield is one of the city's largest mains. It's also one of the oldest. It was installed back in 1921, making it over 100 years old. We never want a main break to occur. Um, but, you know, when they do occur, our, our job is to come out here and respond as quickly as possible and minimize any, any impacts to the customers. The average age of the city's water mains is 76 years old. The main that broke in July at 6th and Bainbridge in Queen Village was 130 years old. In the Infrastructure Act signed by President Biden, $55 billion was included for water infrastructure. The key thing is to at least have resources in place so you can execute. You know, you have money that is there. Now the execution of it. The Philadelphia Water Department manages 3,100 miles of water mains. They're currently replacing about 19 miles of mains every year, with the goal to increase that to 42 miles per year by 2026. States were already allocated funding from the Infrastructure Act. Now it's up to individual cities and agencies to prioritize projects. There should be a priority on serving neighborhoods like Concessing that have been disadvantaged, have not had upgrade work done, and so we're hoping that money can get out there quickly. And the water department gave no time estimate on when the intersection hill will be reopened. However, the water department, they've been working on that main in Queen Village since it broke back in July. Live in King Sessing, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Howard, thank you for that.